<clears throat> All right, welcome, beginning class. Um, so I'm gonna show you some basic techniques for joining clay together. Um, so my last video, I showed how to keep your clay moist. So I'm gonna open this up. All right, and I have a Tupperware, right, of decent size. I have this moist towel and it has kept my clay nice and moist. I'm gonna put this back in here so we don't have to continually wetting it. And um, I do this demo at the beginning of every one of my beginning classes and to show you how to join two pieces of clay together. Now I've created a story and um, so let me do this here. I'm gonna tear off a small piece of clay Okay, I got two pieces of clay here, and I don't need this much. Now I have my work surface. Um, it's stapled, um, the fabric is stapled to the board. I have this, if, my, if I had previously worked on this with clay, I could use a scraper and scrape the fabric clean. I'm going to roll a coil. So the way I uh, show how to join two pieces of clay, of clay together. I tell a story, I call it um, Meet My Little Friend. So what I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna make a coil and I want you to meet my little friend. So first I'm gonna make, make him, okay? So rolling a coil, uh, you just take the clay and go from fingertips to palm and you wanna apply even pressure. If you're rolling a coil and it begins to flatten, the way to fix that is to tap and then roll again. But my little friend is going to be a little flat, okay? So this is going to be my little friend, and I'm going to take one of my modeling sticks, and I'm going to sculpt a face. Okay, so this is my little friend, but my little friend has a problem. Uh, he can't get around. All I can do is go like this and go, come on, little friend, let's go. So what does my little friend need? To get around? Of course, legs. So watch, I'm gonna make him some legs. I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna cut right down the middle, okay? And now, my little friend has got some legs, okay? My little friend can walk. Okay, you know, you've been out in front of the school after school and you know how busy it can be. So, and my little friend needs some help. So what's he, what's he missing here? Of course, arms. So I'm going to make my little friend some arms. And bear with me, we're getting to the technique here. So here's one arm for my little friend. Here's another arm for my little friend. I got little scrap pieces of clay I'm going to put back in there. Okay. Boy, that's a huge arm. Okay, we'll go like this. So I have two arms for my little friend. <clears throat> so. What I'm gonna do is show you the wrong way to join two pieces of clay together. So if you do this, guaranteed, every time you do this, when the clay dries, whatever you attach together, it's gonna to fall apart. And so this is my little friend, this is his arm, and I'm gonna put that arm right there. So here's my little friend and his arm. And my little friend thinks this arm is really strong, so he's flexing. Here's my little friend thinking that arm is really strong. Well, this, guy's, this guy's buffed, huh? Okay, so that's the wrong way to do it. The right way to do it is I take my modeling stick and I'm going to use the chisel point. It's the screwdriver end. And the way we do this, if I'm going to put the arm here, I would go like this and I'll scribe around where I want the arm to be. And then I have that. And then I just dip, not a lot, Depends how wet your clay is. And then now I'm gonna score. If your clay was drier and in the leather hard stage, you would add more water. This clay is already moist. And what we're trying to do, see how I'm scoring in one direction? And I do that until I start to build a paste up. Now I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna score this. Again, if it's clay is soft, you don't need a lot of water, but you do need to score. And I score in the same direction on both sides. And, you know, people say, how many times do you score? It isn't really a number. You just keep scoring until the surface is totally scarfed up. Now, can you see that they're both going in the same direction? When I attach, 
I put the two pieces of clay together and I move it up and down and it'll begin to lock in. So then after that, I'm gonna compress it like I did the other arm. And I think this arm is really strong. So there's my little friend here. Man, he's ready to take the world on. I don't even know if his arms, his legs can hold up his arms. The way this works, when we, when you attach two pieces of clay together and you just stick them on, when the clay dries, it comes off. But when we score, we create these grooves. And these grooves interlock, especially when you move it up and down, the grooves will interlock. And then when it dries, usually when the clay, if you were to drop it, it won't break on the where you scored it, it'll break next to it. That's, that's weaker than where the actual score or the connection point was. So here we are, here's my little friend. And I'm gonna start to take my little friend for a walk. We're walking, we're talking, and oh my God, this arm came right off. But look at this one, right? It's holding all that weight. And that's really important. Everything you make, you need to scratch to attach or score the clay together. Um, again, depending on how much water is in the clay uh, will determine how much you're gonna apply when you're scoring. Again, clay that's leather hard or really firm, you're gonna have to score, add water, score, add water. Sometimes you have to add water, let it absorb several times before um, you can start to build that paste up. But look at the strength of this. This is really important. To create something and not do this technique and just be lazy for not doing that, you could lose your entire piece and break before it even makes it to school or when it comes out of the kiln. So, important, scratch to attach. And my little friend, see how strong that arm is? That's important, Nighthawks, okay? Thank you.